Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna be doing an update to Baltimore Thurgood International Airport. I hope you're really gonna enjoy this update because just as the same as last week's DCA update was the last one of the year, this is the last Baltimore Thurgood update of 2020. It's absolutely crazy to me to think that it's almost the end of 2020. Christmas decks will soon be going up and um, yeah, it's, it's been a very interesting year to say the least. Of course, for being social and also for traveling, it's been an awful year, but for videos and airport updates, it's been an absolutely great year. Especially for Baltimore, we've made some very big improvements in the, the fact that we now have Spirit and various other airlines that we used to not have. So Baltimore has gotten a lot more realistic over this year and I'm gonna strive to make it even more realistic. Hopefully we can get some uh, Condor aircraft in and also some Allegiant ones as well. But for now, we've got a pretty good update going. After this update, we'll have two more updates for the rest of 2020. We'll have one next week, which is uh, the suggested update. We'll have some special guests in that uh, video. And then we'll have one coming out in December, which will be the annual festive update. But with that being said, I guess we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this Baltimore update. Starting off here in the Spirit and Air Canada gates, um, I've kind of designated, as I said in the last update, I've kind of designated these three gates to Spirit and Air Canada. So of course this is where Air Canada will uh, park their aircraft and also Spirit, uh, some of their international planes will come into here as well as their domestic ones as well. But starting off here, we have an Air Canada Express E175. Uh, he's just arrived in from Toronto Pearson and he's gonna be heading out to Ottawa. Next stage just getting pushed back. We have the NG Spirit A321. Uh, he's just pushing back for a flight out to Los Angeles. And then finally here for Spirit, we have a Spirit A321. This is the Gemini version with the Wi-Fi box. Uh, he's just getting fueled up for a flight out to Orlando MCO. Next here, moving on to the domestic terminal here, we have a Delta 737-900. Uh, he's just getting ready for a flight out to Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson. Uh, the Atlanta route is primarily on the 737-900, which is good because I have that aircraft, um, but it's also been operated on the 737-800, um, A321, and I believe some others as well. So it's kind of, it's pretty much take your pick out of the uh, entire Delta fleet. Um, but if it does uh, go back to the 800, of course, um, I will be getting the 800 pretty soon from NG. I have ordered two of the new uh, Delta 737-800s. I'm, as I said, I'm trying to increase my Delta fleet so I can have a more realistic presence when it comes to Dulles and Baltimore and Reagan as well. Um, so I was kind of lacking in the Delta department, but with the two new 737-800s, we've got the 900, of course, the uh, new A321 as well. Uh, then just need some A320s and A319s and some connection aircraft, and we will be 100 percent set but yeah as i said this uh, delta 737-900 he's going to be heading out to atlanta hartsfield jackson and next here we have a united express embraer uh, e175 and um, he's just getting catered up for a flight out to houston intercontinental i've seen a ton of these new livery embraer 175s at baltimore i don't think i've actually seen on flight rider 24 an old livery one come in it's just being consistently new liveries which is kind of odd and as well i'm pretty sure this is just because of the virus but um united don't actually usually operate united express aircraft to baltimore um it's just the mainline united's but for some reason uh, they have been operating over the past year e175s to various destinations such as chicago and houston uh, so that's kind of odd i guess it's just because of the uh, uh numbers of passengers but passenger numbers do appear to be picking up again back in the us uh, maybe going to drop down again with this uh, new wave but yeah we might see some upgrades on these uh, embraer routes to kind of like mainline aircraft 737s and a320s uh, but for now, it's just stuck on the uh, E-175. And speaking of the devil, here we have a United A320. Uh, he's doing the Chicago O'Hare route. Um, they've been operating E-175s and A320s on that route. Um, so he's going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. And next here, this amazing shot, the Alaska livery just brightens up a shot. It's amazing, it's great. Um, here we have the Alaska 737-800. He's just getting fueled up for flights out to Seattle. Um, again, that route is being operated on a 737-900. Um, I would love for a company to release an Alaska 737-900. Of course, they are operating the 900 to uh, Dulles as well from Seattle. Um, I'm not sure how long that's gonna last though. But for now, we can cope with a 737-800 uh, on these routes. It's not that different. 
Uh, but yeah, he's gonna be heading out to Seattle later on today. And then finally here, just concluding the domestic terminal, we have an American One World 737-800. Um, he's gonna be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth. And next day, moving on to the International and Southwest Terminal here, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Colorado One color scheme. He's just getting ready for a flight out to Charlotte today. But moving down here, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-800 in the uh, Hart livery. Uh, he's just arrived in from Cancun, Mexico. Then next here we have another Southwest 737-800. Uh, he's just arrived in from Dallas Lovefield. Next down the list here we have a Southwest 737-700 in the Canyon Blue livery. Uh, he's just getting ready for a flight out to Manchester. And then next here we have another Southwest 737-700 in the Canyon Blue livery. Uh, he's just getting ready for a flight out to Charleston. And then next here we have a new model for Baltimore. Here we have the Southwest Airlines 737-800 in the Canyon Blue livery. Uh, this is the one without scimitars. And he's just getting fueled up for a flight out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. And then finally for the Southwest Terminal here we have another Southwest 737-800. This one is in the Canyon Blue livery and also has scimitars this time. He's just getting ready for a flight out to Tampa in Florida. Next here moving over to the runway, uh, just lining up on runway 10, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Triple Crown 1 livery. Uh, he's just about to take off for Nashville. And then next here lining up behind him on the very, very dusty taxiway. I do apologize about that. Uh, but as I said here, we have an American Eagle CLJ 700. He's just lining up for a flight out to Chicago O'Hare. Next in line, we have another Southwest Airlines 737-700. Uh, he's just about to head out to Fort Lauderdale. And then behind him, of course, for a first time on the Baltimore update, here we have the brand new Delta A321. Uh, he's just uh, also uh, taxiing out to the runway uh, for a flight out to Salt Lake City. Next in, moving on to the cargo ramp here. Here we have a Royal Air Force uh, A400M. He's just getting ready for a flight out to Bryce Norton in the UK. Of course, we can't have the British Airways route, but what's stopping the Royal Air Force from serving this route? Um, this isn't a realistic route. I haven't seen this route before, but I wouldn't be surprised if an A400M has made an appearance at Baltimore. I know that the Luftwaffe A400M does appear at Dulles quite regularly. So when Gemini Jets decide to release a Luftwaffe A400M, I am definitely gonna jump on that. Uh, they have made a future release for the French Air Force A400M. I'm probably gonna get that one as well just because the A400M is my favorite military cargo aircraft. But on top of that, it's just something new and it's just something interesting. So I decided to add this into this update. And then next to him here, we have a DHL 757-200. Uh, he's ready for pushback now he's going to be heading out to Cincinnati uh, at the moment that's the only route DHL do operate out of Baltimore and so he's just going to be heading out there and then finally concluding the updates here we have a FedEx 767-300F uh, he's arrived in from Memphis and he's going to be heading back out there and so yeah that does conclude this update of Baltimore Thurgood International Airport um, I hope you did enjoy it. again as I said this is the last one of 2020 so so make the most of this one because um, yeah we won't have another one till January now I do also want to give a quick little update on uh, Washington Dulles I know a lot of you have been asking uh, where Washington Dulles is what kind of like the situation is on it at the moment uh, I am still working on it of course um, I'm currently in the long process of drawing out all the gates um, it's probably going to take me a little while longer um, it's probably the most time consuming uh, process at the moment uh, so I will have an update out probably in the new year I do apologize that it's been taking this long but I mean it, it's one of those projects that I really want to just take my time on. Unlike Baltimore or Reagan, Dallas is an airport I would have even if I didn't do YouTube. It's kind of like my crown jewel. That's uh, so why I really want to make sure everything is exactly perfect. And what comes along with that as a consequence is it is taking quite a long time to uh, complete. I do want to thank you for being very, very patient with that. The other thing is a collection video, of course. I do one in every uh, May and November of every year and it is currently November. Uh, so I will try and get one out this month. Literally as I'm recording this I'm about to go to B&Q and buy some more wood for Dulles. Um, so I'm probably going to get that up and then I'll have a base where I can then do uh, my collection video on top of that. So yeah things are in the works. I haven't forgotten about everything. I am still working on everything. Um, it's just taking a little bit longer than expected. But yeah, I want to thank you for being ever so patient with that. Um, and yeah, I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.